Now, in the mountains of Siberia, more than 50,000 years ago, a Neanderthal father and his teenage daughter lived together in a cave. They were likely part of a small, tight-knit community in which women traveled to move in with their mates. And that's according to a new study which uses genetic sleuthing to offer a rare snapshot of what a Neanderthal family, in fact, looked like. Our next point gets you more. This is a model of Neanderthal man, Homo neanderthalensis, created for London's Natural History Museum. They lived across Europe and Asia for hundreds of thousands of years. They died out around 40,000 years ago. Shortly after our species, the Homo sapiens arrived in Europe from Africa. Now DNA analysis is starting to unravel some of the mysteries of their lives. Tiny bone fragments pulled from two Russian caves have been studied by researchers. Archaeologists excavating the caves have found remains from at least a dozen different Neanderthals. In their study published in the journal Nature, they used the genetic data to map out relationships between 13 different Neanderthals and get clues to how they lived. We found there is that yes, we have two individuals that we think are a father and a daughter. And so sort of the evidence for that is that one is that we, if you look at them over the entire nuclear genome and look at how distinct they are from each other, or how many differences there are, they have many fewer than we see for the for if you just take say two other uh, bones or teeth and compare those. The caves located in the remote foothills above a river valley in Siberia have been a rich source of materials from stone tools to fossil fragments. Researchers think the caves might have served as a short-term hunting stop for Neanderthals. First thing that really surprised me was actually that they likely lived at the same time, right? Because the Neanderthals is always you talk about really, really long time scales. How you talk about time scales of thousands and tens of thousands of years often and yeah, it's quite striking that one finds individuals that, that like to live around the same time. Scientists have only recently started to dig around in these early humans' DNA. Since then, scientists have sequenced 18 Neanderthals' genomes, but usually their finds are pretty scattered. The new research significantly adds to our, let's say, puzzle pieces, our knowledge of ancient Neanderthal communities, how they lived, what kind of society they had, even some marriage customs. As it turns out, this kind of research has not been conducted in the world. Overall, the analysis found that everyone in the group had a lot of DNA in common. The low genetic diversity suggests that at least in this area, Neanderthals lived in very small communities of 10 to 20 individuals, authorities concluded. Bureau report, Vion, World is One. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.